Good afternoon. I'm Anna Ardling, Chief Resilience Officer of Tbilisi. In my presentation, I will talk about Tbilisi's resilience journey and Green City Action Plan. But first, let me introduce you to my city, Tbilisi. As Georgia's capital, Tbilisi has a long history that goes back over 15 centuries. Thanks to its key location on the crossroad of the East and West, Tbilisi became an important cultural, political and economic center of the region, developing into a melting pot of Oriental and Western cultures, while still maintaining its strong identity. Over time, the city has withstood many stages of destruction and rebuilding. Residents of Tbilisi throughout history have spread no efforts to enable the city to survive by supporting each other to overcome natural disasters and civil unrest. Together we have ensured our city has progressed and prospered. The city has been able to resist polarization, crime and political instability caused by economic transition, civil war and two territorial conflicts. Tbilisi's population has shown exceptional social cohesion and has been described as being able to mobilize and face challenges with common sense, in other words, resilient. This resilient strategy and Green City Action Plan is about Tbilisi's residents and building a dynamic city ready to respond to any challenges. These strategies are a comprehensive roadmap for Tbilisi. It provides a set of missions, goals and actions for building green infrastructure and resilience in Tbilisi. Nowadays, cities must respond to the impact of three worldwide trends. Urbanization. By 2050, 75% of country's population will be living in major cities. Globalization. What happens in one city has big impact on another city or region. Climate change. Actions regarding the climate change should not be strange to any city or country. Resilience journey of Tbilisi started not too long ago, but in a short time we have accomplished many things. We started working on Tbilisi's resilience when we became part of 100 Resilient Cities Network in 2016. We had very first agenda setting workshop in 2017. City's first chief resilient officer was appointed in the same year. We completed preliminary resilience assessment by 2018 and now we have 2030 resilience strategy for Tbilisi. So what have we done as part of preliminary resilience assessment process? We have engaged a broad range of stakeholders. We have gathered information and diagnosed the city's strengths and weaknesses using city resilience framework identified what the city is already doing and what has to be improved. City came up with discovery areas that was part of preliminary resilience assessment and after this we started to work on the resilience strategy itself. Engaging different stakeholder process included meetings with focus groups, individual interviews, surveys, workshops around the most important topics. We talked to experts and also invited international finance institutions to present them with a draft project from Resilience Strategy. This way we had their feedback and support on the strategy and plans going forward. Using tools provided by 100RC to fight top shocks, stresses and opportunities for the city. Top shocks are flooding, earthquakes, infrastructure failure, landslides. Top stresses are high unemployment, aging infrastructure, poor air quality or pollution, lack of adequate transport systems. So the vision for Tbilisi is resilient and dynamic city where residents are protected and safe where there is access to opportunity and healthy natural environments and where we are empowered to plan ahead, ready to respond to any challenges. 
The PLC resilience strategy comprises of three pillars. These pillars are divided into 10 goals and 42 actions, from which some are already on the way, some that we are incorporating resilience approach, and some that are new. The first pillar, a city that is protected and safe. We have three main goals with numerous actions like kindergartens development, safe housing, emergency response plan for the city, and so on. Second pillar, a city that is thriving, connected, and accessible. We have actions like brownfield development, people-centered night economy, sustainable urban mobility plan, upgrading buses and bus services. Third pillar, a city that mitigates and adapts to climate change. We gathered actions like lake rehabilitation, revamped quarry cleanup, bio-waste recycling, waste management strategy, and so on. The real work is to make sure we follow the strategy. Strategy is aligned with international, national, and city level, of course, with Green City Action Plan. Green City Action Plan development was not too different from resilience strategy. Main goal was to create a comprehensive package that addresses city priorities but is achievable with available resources. We divided Green City Action Plan in seven different measures. Transport sector measures aims for sustainable city mobility system to improve public transport options reduce air pollution and noise, improve public safety, and reduce the number of private cars in the urban center. This project is very successful. We have replaced almost entire bus fleet in the city, and by the end of this year, we will finish replacing all the rem remaining old buses. We have procured mixture of CNG, Euro 6 standard diesel, and electric buses. We have created bus rapid transit and bike lanes. Tbilisi was a car-oriented city, but now with the new strategy, Tbilisi has become a more pedestrian-oriented city. With building sector measures, we improve the energy efficiency and increase the use of renewables in the city's buildings to provide pleasant, comfortable, and functional spaces with minimal energy usage. With energy sector measures, we would like to accomplish efficient generation and use of clean energy. Throughout the city, we have started to replace old street lightings with new LED lighting. In industry sector measures, we have projects tied to waste management. Next is project for uh, water sector measures, but I will not go over every sector measures that is in Green City Action Plan just to save some time, but presentation is available online and you will be able to view it anytime. Next topic is solid waste management. And last is the land use and biodiversity. With these measures, we are concentrating to increase the area and quality of green spaces and improve biodiversity in the city and its surroundings. Natural-based solutions have big role in PLC. Biodiversity strategy is very important and we are providing green corridors throughout the city as well. We have been creating green islands on the streets and two major park construction is also underway for our citizens and guests. With this, I would like to thank you for attending this section and thank you very much for your attention.